Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, I am going to explain about map and grep functions. Map function evaluates a block or an expression and returns the elements in an array or a hash. For example, if you have an array ranging from 1 to 5 numbers and if you want the square of these numbers, you can use a map function. Second is grep function. Grep function evaluates a block or expression and returns the elements which are evaluated to true. For example, if you have numbers ranging from 1 to 5 and you want the numbers where numbers greater than 3, then you can just use a grep function. Whatever the code which you want to try to implement in loops, you can implement in these two functions map and grep. Now let us see an example. Now let us see an example of map function on an array. I have this array called skills where each scalar is a technology name. I want to append a string like tech to each element of this array. For this I can use a map function instead of a loop. Map followed by curly braces. This is a default variable or current variable which will loop on every element of this array. I need to append this string. For this I have to use a concatenation operator dot. Let us test it. String tech got added on each scalar element of the array. Now there is also one more useful way to convert an array into hash using map function. That is, if you want to assign a value of 4 on each key of the hash, then you can just do like this. This whole thing results in a hash and we have to save the result in a hash. This is my hash where each key is assigned to a value 4. You can also remove duplicates in an array. Let me just copy some duplicates in this array. If you want to have only the unique elements of this array, you can just convert this array into a hash and get the keys of that hash. This will convert the array into a hash and now print the keys. These are my unique elements inside the array. The second function is called grep. In this array, if you want to have the elements which are starting with p, then you can use grep function. For this, followed by curly braces and use a regular ex expression starting with p. Grep function always results in an array. Let us just test it now. I got the elements which are starting with P inside that array. If you don't want the elements which are not starting with P, then you can just use a NOT operator which is nothing but exclamatory mark. You can get the elements which are not starting with P. Now let us see a combination of map and grep function. What if you want to convert an array into hash 
which are starting with P. Then you can just use map and grep in just single one line. which are starting with P. This will grab for the elements which are starting with P and for those elements you can actually assign a value of 4 using map function. This whole thing will be resulting in a hash. An array where elements which are starting with P got converted into a hash.